three. As if it's the biggest wave of the day. The next one. <laughs> that was nuts. Someone went. Someone went? Yeah. Uh, Taj. No, Taj pulled back. Alan said that Taj pulled back in the yeah, kit. In uh, my way. What's his name? Luke? Luke, Luke went. Oh, the backside boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But Alan was like, dude, it was sick. Taj pulled back and the kid went. And then he said that Taj just went in. Basically, there was a really good, it was one of the, probably the biggest wave uh, so far of the day that came through. Alan was a bit further down shooting. I heard him just shouting like, go. And then I saw Taj on my inside. I was like, okay, well, obviously it's like, he's trying to get a link up with Taj. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna back up paddle this guy. I paddled and he pulled out last second. So I was like, okay, I just went. I I tried to fully commit and I made the takeoff, started bottom turning and I didn't grab my rail, which I probably should have. And it was too foamy from the wave before. So there were a couple of like bumps in the wave. As the thing started doubling up, my rail just caught on a bump and it just flung me. It was like so shallow, like way steep. It hit me against the sand a couple of times. Yeah, it took me for a ride and um, I got a couple on the head after that because it keeps in the impact zone. So you just keep getting nailed. But yeah, I can't wait to go back there, to be honest. That wave makes me like, just want to go back there on the next swell and redeem myself, like fully, yeah. And it always happens if you like pull back on a wave that like could have been the wave of your life. Like you're always just going to be thinking like, I could have, I should have just gone to try. So I mean, I'm stoked I went, even though I could have maybe made it past that section, but uh, yeah, it doesn't make me feel as bad as not going. <laughs>